right, here we go with season two. Playthrough of Skies Above Britain. Now, I should say something. I did a season one where I did just one chapter and I got a score of excellent. And I kind of misinterpreted the rules and I actually asked the designer about this and got an answer back. Is The idea is, what my misconception was that if you got an excellent, the idea was you got promoted and you were promoted out of, this, out of the squadron, as it were. And so the campaign was over. Anytime you got an, any chapter, you got an excellent result. But he says, actually, you're supposed to you know, play out all four chapters if you intend to do a full campaign. Uh, so I didn't do that. Now, the reason I'm not, I could have went back and started chapter two and all that stuff, but there's two reasons. One is I had a whole bunch of um, fighters that went to the fate box, got shot down, and I'd already put away the game. So I'd, putting together the clerical this and that with that would have been a hassle. And the other reason is I think it would be kind of boring if you knew you already had the excellent and basically you're just playing to not fail for the other four missions. That's a lot of missions. <laughs> um, or a lot of chapters. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a new season and we're going to use the Spitfires this time and we'll get to see how those work out. All right, let's start. We'll start with our pint. Well, we take two... We'll start with our pilot assignment and see how this plays out. Last time we got an ace because we rolled high. I wouldn't expect that now, but who knows. Three. Okay. One green, 18 regular, and one veteran. That kind of... Ah, it's nice to have more veterans, but, you know, we also don't have that many greens either. So, okay, so let's get that going. All right, I've assigned my pilot roster. I will introduce them as they uh, get into the action rather than just l listing them out like a hockey game or <laughs> anything like that. We have, this is chapter one again. We are starting at the beginning. A very good place to start. And so, got our vector inbound vector markers ready. We need to establish a starting point. Five. Places them deep. Uh huh. And our starting visibility. Oh, that was a nine, wasn't it? That was a nine. Any seven. Nine makes it. Haze with sun, though. And the seven makes it starboard. So, over here. Well, we are ready. Scramble chaps. A straggler. Which we're going to let go so I can keep my squadron fully intact. Keep them together for uh, the big ones and not just chase after one bomber. And so we're going to reveal the next one, which is weather, which is unfortunately going to put us into the clouds with no sun, I presume. Bloody weather. All right. Now we're on to the fuel phase. Oh, and here's the trick. I was spending fuel very freely in the last uh, scenario, or last campaign. Uh, but I have to remember I'm Spitfire, so I start with one less than the Hurricanes. So that might become critical. Mm. There can be no contact, so we move straight to the vector phase, and I determined we will. Our squadron will move to the middle, and the question is, do I want it to go high? We'll have to spend a fuel to do that. I think I will go ahead, and let's get high. I don't want to get jumped again. All right. Next round of revealing. The first one. Oh, turn. This means our sun will come back. Like so. And... Uh, six puts it on the tail. If you don't like the weather, wait ten minutes. And now the Messerschmitts attack my squadron. They're going to attack one section at random, and that will be one, the red section. Okay, with our veteran and our green guy right here. So... Draw an advantage card, and boom. Yep. Behind you, if heavy escort, nope. It'll be head on against a rata. There we are. 
Or why? Dogfight. Head on, tailing. Nope. Head on. Squadron versus the 109. Okay, green. Uh, we do have a green pilot that would normally be knocked loose. I'm going to go ahead and use the veteran privilege known as Stay Close. I'll cant, I'll cant him to show that I've used it, and that will cancel out that green result. We do do a damage on him. Shoot him, Mr. Jazz. Our first blood. First blood of the campaign. Who got him? Six. That would be... That would be Red Leader. His nickname is Roof. <laughs> so, first kill of the campaign is a fighter at 109. Uh, the rest of them will disappear. And somebody will garner a low ammo result. And that one is four. Four will be Red three, um, red three, N is nicknamed Nash. Okay, low ammo for Nash. And I got a comment about how I would talk about low ammo results all the time, and then I wouldn't put the marker on it. <laughs> so I gotta go nice and slow, make sure I execute everything on here. So I'll even look here again. Okay, we canceled that, but got the kill. Got the low ammo, we got it on there, and we've got, uh, made the, the rest of the one, the solo guy vanished. Ran with his tail between his legs, I would bet. <laughs> okay. Most importantly, that was a one-car dogfight, meaning we have not lost contact. We are not out of the formation, or out of the squadron yet. So that one's resolved. Next one. Weather. Okay, now it's gonna go back. To, it's gonna go back to haze. Okay, but the sun's still out. Uh, and more Mr. Schmitz. Ah, wow. <laughs> Getting dogged here. Busy little krauts, aren't they? Okay, let's roll. We need another squadron to apply this to. And once again, it's red, I do believe. Yes, red will get another squadron. Okay, fair enough. So, Waffa advantage and zoop, fingers off. A green fighter immediately becomes low ammo. Well, lovely. Fine. So, um, a green pilot, what's his nickname? Is. He is letter D for Diver. We're calling him Diver. He becomes low ammo. <laughs> so, saw him and just panicked, I guess. And these are a whole swarm coming right at us. By the way, these nicknames are purely word association. I, th I thought of the first word that was like the letter D and just did the whole, most of it like that. Uh, if you have any names to suggest, uh, real names or otherwise, or nicknames, just go ahead and drop them in the comments. And of course, we'll have replacements. We'll need names for those as well. But right now, we have an entire swarm coming at our squadron. And so we draw a card and it's head on. And once again, it's 109 versus a section. Okay, now I can't cancel any of this, but, okay, so, yeah, I can apply these in any order, I do have to apply them all. Somebody will get a fighter kill. And because these are Spitfires, I think I'm gonna see a lot more of these damage results than the Hurricanes, because the apparently the Spitfires do better against uh, fighters. Who got the kill, you ask? Seven, that would be Red Leader again. Oh, he's gunning for Ace, is he? Okay, we did the damage. Uh, we know the swarm will vanish. Fly on by. Uh, somebody will get low ammo. Uh, seven, uh, that'll be Red Leader. No, all three of us are low ammo. And finally, somebody is gonna get hit. Five, that would be Red Leader again. Boy, he's just, <laughs> he's just all over there here. Red Leader, also known as Roof, takes a hit. And this is a nine in the cockpit. And that is not a good way to be. And we roll a nine. All right, so we shake it off. Shake off our first hit. 
that bodes well. I hope we'll see a lot of that for the rest of this campaign. Okay. And once again, that was a single car round dogfight, so we are still not lost, I guess you could call it. Not a lost contact. Two more vector markers to reveal, and here's our next one. And once again, the first of all, the sun will become more clear, and in the meantime, we need to find out which way the bombers turn, and we roll a dice. And we get, uh, whoop, well, we'll call it odd, and that is counterclockwise, so we'll go from tail to starboard. Okay. That nasty bomber formation will take flak. So we pull one. And I gotta, oh, these, uh, flak is always hurricane side, but I gotta remember I'm using spitfires for the, for the fighters themselves. So we got a hit on the wing, and we'll just, Put it over here in the middle and we'll sign it when we finally make contact. Now, the thing with flak is I can do tally-ho if I want. By spending fuel, I can move them over here, but the problem is they're, they're going to almost come to me. I think they're going to come to me, and I doubt they're going to drop their bombs by the time they get to here. Well, oh, that's a tricky one. Tricky, tricky. I'm going to forgo the tally-ho this time. It's probably a bit of a gamble, but a straggler, which, again, we're going to let go. We are still in an intact squadron, and I want to keep that up that way until other things happen. Oh, there's one rule I forgot. Don't forget this. This is uh, something easily forgotten. Is Every time you get hit by Messerschmitts, the squadron that gets pegged, has to lose a fuel. So there was one time, and then there was a second time. So we're actually in a bad, we're burning up fuel here. So we actually get to, we finish the vector phase, we get to the, the fuel phase, and dunk, and dunk. Okay. Uh, there is no chance for contact, and we will not vector. We are actually in position to uh, intercept. So we whirl around again. And we're back in the... I've never seen it get this far. I gotta say, I a little note here. They've always showed up, and they've always dropped their bombs, like, either here or here. So this, this is interesting, because I haven't seen this before. We are now actually all the way into the mid. And there it is. There's a raid. Okay, so... They're here. The sun is out and visible, so now we get to figure out what kind of escort we're looking at. We roll... 12. No escort. Well, la di da on that. <laughs> now here's where the, I gambled. And this might be where I messed up. Nope. More Messerschmitts. <laughs> okay, but uh, let's see here. This is so different than the other campaign where I was just... I've never gotten this far in the inbound vector uh, sequence. Uh, but we need another squadron to attack for the Luftwaffe. And once again, they're going after... No, wait a minute. Nope, 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 nope. Four. That's a green squadron. You got these little numbers here. It tells you right there. So green squadron will be the, the victim. Or the victim. Victim. That's not the right attitude. We're going to lunch these guys. And we're going to pull this card here. Hun in the sun. Clear. No. Escort it. Nope. Nope. Uh, we're just going to be tailed by a rot. Rata. Like so. Oh, what do I do? What kind of maneuver do I want to pull off? Because I want to pick a maneuver that is going to shake these guys in one card. Because I do not want to lost contact. Full squadron, we got a no escort here. It's just ringing the doorbell, uh, dinner bell for us. So we want to keep this squadron, this section with the squadron. So what do you do? Well, I think I'm going to evade. I think that is the best thing that is automatically going to reduce by one. Now I draw two cards and pick my favorite man. I'm hoping there's a redu reduction on one of these. Or disappear even. Uh, or wait a minute, no, we got to go to section. We're up here. And it's 109. Okay, let's take a look. Well, it's the same either way. I don't have a green guy that can cancel... Uh, like this green thing here, and we don't have any green guys in there anyway, so it's literally either, they're both the same, that one, 
It's both for the same result, so it doesn't matter which one I pick. Uh, except this one. So, reduce. He's gone. Uh, the green doesn't count. There's no green guy in there. One fuel spent. Oh, I gotta spend two because of, um, uh, that's what happens when Messerschmitts hit you. So that's two fuel. And somebody unfortunately is hit. And that person is two. It's gonna be green three. His name is, is uh, Gremlin. That's his nickname. Okay. Who's gonna take what I hope is a survivable hit? And uh, I draw a six on the wing. We'll roll for that. Three, ouch. And we have our first, well, it's not really casualty, we have our first shoot down of our uh, uh, campaign. Green three, gremlin going down. Uh, the good news, however, is that was a one card combat. One round combat, we are still not lost. <laughs> Whoops, I made an error, and this might count as a regula obscura. I went and read the event text for Hun in the Sun, if you'll remember that. But, and it says here specifically on page 9, if drawn as a result of Chase, Messerschmitt's ambush or channel patrol check, however, the condition of the intercept map and its escort stations does not matter. The event text applies if there is sun anywhere on the map. So that should, uh, this rata should have been play, replaced by a swarm. Uh, the good news is uh, it doesn't really affect the results because remember I draw these two cards and the only difference is I would have picked this one instead of this one and they're exactly the same so yeah so no harm no foul I say. But remember that if you if you get a hunt in the sun, a chase, Messerschmitt's ambush, or channel patrol check, that if there's sun anywhere, it applies. So we have resolved this market, and lo and behold, they still have not dropped their bombs yet. We are at the fuel sequence, so everyone drops one. And now we are at the contact phase, and we are able to contact them. We have no escort. And they have not dropped their bombs yet, and we're high altitude, everything is just ripe for contact, so here we go. Okay, we're in the same zone, we have a plus one because we are at the high altitude, and now let's make contact. Six, it's a seven. Let's be at flank low. And I can spend a fuel to go flank high. That is definitely something I want to think about because of the, um... Ah, uh, what do you call it? The, um... <laughs> man, I'm thinking right. <laughs> uh, out of the sun advantage. Uh, so yes, I think I will spend that fuel. Uh, these guys are low, getting low. <laughs> I gotta watch it. There. And guess where these guys are gonna go? They're gonna go to the starboard. Where the sun is, we are about ready to intercept. Okay, now we get to see what we're up against. All right, so, and as usual, red die is the first die and blue is the second die. And red three, Stukas. Oh, this just keeps getting better and better. Okay, so we're up against Stukas and their formation is a seven, which is gonna be six tiles looking like that. All right, well, we're at the orders phase now. Clearly, no one, we're not gonna, there's no escort to intercept. Um, and we're not gonna cruise. We are just going straight for this bomber formation. Makes the most sense, because we are high on the flank. No escort means a five. And I have out of the sun advantage. Now, here's where I need to make a choice. I can either add two dice to this interception roll, or I can go with the one die and my first round against the bombers, I will not take any uh, hits. And I am going to choose to go for that uh, second bonus where I don't take any hits. Let's intercept. Four. Ooh. Okay, I do get a reroll. I have to spend a fuel. 
And uh oh, <laughs> this is a very scary roll coming up here. Oh my gosh, I missed it. Oh, the luck runs out. Ouch. <laughs> so, we failed to intercept, which means we go to low altitude and we are on the tail. What a stink. P.U. Two rolls that couldn't pass five. Ugh. Well, we burn up a fuel. We're down into the patrol complete section here, and we're in danger here, running out of fuel in a bad way. Uh, now all of a sudden, uh, an easy gimme, a lot of points, uh, suddenly has turned into a uh, potential nightmare here. Uh, escort recovery, no. Escort exit, no. There's no escort. Channel patrol, no, not yet. No, not for where they are. Um, reform, there's no lost contacts, and now we're gonna reveal the raid marker. Okay. Ah, so. And here we go. They dropped their bomb, so. Ugh. There goes our there goes our easy six victory points. Wow. <laughs> Just went from went from doing great to doing poor. So they make their turn for home. That cancels all these out. And now like so Oh, and just a clerical note, uh, even though there's no escorts, you still have to uh, do any of these in, in, the, in the appropriate phase. Uh, but it won't apply because I don't have anyone that can be ambushed or, and they can't escape in the clouds. But we'll go ahead and burn the card just to follow the sequence of play. So that's that's taken care of. So here we are at the orders phase, and what I'm gonna do first, first is gonna split the squadron into A flights and B flights. Because the red and green squadrons are on low fuel, so we're gonna let them and then with the orders. Actually, I changed my mind. We're gonna keep it a squadron, and we're all gonna go for uh, the tail. We're gonna get, we ain't got time, so we're gonna we're gonna. I could try to get a better position for one of the the flights, but uh, yeah, we're all kind of low on fuel anyway. But to do a low tail intercept, I do have to spend another. So now he's they're on empty, and they're close to empty. And suddenly the Spitfire, that one fuel difference makes a lot. Okay, so we need a seven. Uh, let's go get up. Come on, seven. Eleven, okay, okay. We are finally gonna get this bomber formation. Into the, into the pit here. Now, the reason we went uh, this way is because Normally there's a, pen, a one round penalty for coming up on the tail, but not with Stukas. If you're coming low, they don't have the guns underneath. So we get, uh, we get to attack them from the rear without getting the penalty. All right, so let's do it. Red leader, Zunch, appear, starboard. And yes, we are gonna knock them out of uh, formation. Actually, no, not starboard, but with tail. Ugh, yuck. Okay, so he runs out of ammo and takes a hit. But he doesn't have to draw a second hit. And so, return fire, he's jammed. It doesn't matter, he's out of ammo. So I'm not even going to put it on there. <laughs> mm, all right. Red 2 comes up with his attack in the rear. Shunk. Ah, much better. 2 damage, uh, which will be enough to knock him out. He will run out of ammo in the process. So, a red 2. Whoops, you're not that way. That was our green guy, Diver, making the first bomber kill of the campaign. Okay, how about blue 3 over here? His lone guy doing his own thing here. Ah, damage, low ammo. Make sure I put it on first, and it will pull him out of the Laketa. Okay, so let me get all this correct. Need damage. And I have to remember to use the Spitfire side for this. Okay, so fuselage, 
We go up here, but this whole thing comes out. Uh, let's, and sadly, we do not get victory points for separating those. Sad panda, because we missed the, we made the big blunder on that last uh, out of the sun roll. Okay, but anyway, we're on red three turn. There he goes. And now we're on. We're down here now. Uh, damage low ammo, so you're gonna run out. Alright, I'll go ahead and do the damage. And that is a wing. It will fall out of the formation. Yellow three. And this is a lone bomber, so all the way down here. Yellow three is not green. Uh, he will go low ammo. Oh, and nothing else happens. Stinks. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, down here we have a yellow leader. Zunk. And this is a Keta. So we're here, tail here. Uh, that is enough to knock it out of the formation. He will get low ammo. Uh, yellow two fires. Individual bomber damage and low ammo. And the damage is wing. Okay. All right. Uh, what do you call him? Green leader. This is still in the cat, so we're up here. Uh, six. Actually, it's not six anymore. It's a one, two, three, four, five. Well, after I add the damage, it will, because I'll resolve that first. You bet. And, whoops, engine falling out of the formation. Low ammo as usual. And yes, now we're one, two, three, four, five, six. So he will, well, he's, he fell out because of that anyway. So, <laughs> sorry about that. Green two fires. Man, it's an individual bomber this time. Two damage and a low ammo. But two damage is enough to knock that one out. And blue leader on an individual. Two damage and low ammo. First one, swing. Second one, uh, wing 11, which could. Nope. All right, whoops. One down. Pass it through. Blue two. This needs a damage. Knock it down. Okay. Tail up. Oh. Yep, low ammo. And that's it. And he's not green, so. Ugh. That was a stinky pass through. All right. So we disengaged. Nobody got uh, hit. So that's been nice. Um. We're in the entropy phase, and uh, then we go to the next bomber formation one, and we're going to go ahead and send everybody with low ammo home, return to base. That's all my red guys. Unfortunately, they're going to be rolling on the bailout because they're on vapor, or they're on fumes, or whatever it is. So I'm finding a flaw in my, uh, where you're riding the tail. I don't have the option to ride the tail. I shouldn't maybe move him forward, or if I'm thinking of riding the tail, he might get mixed up who actually rides the tail and who changed position. I, I do remember it. I was able to piece it together. These guys have to attack flank while everyone else can ride the tail. Because they didn't knock out their bombers. These guys did knock out their bombers. And so we'll start with them. So we got to just remember this is a flank attack for green leader. It's a single bomber, it's damage and add ammo. There's a wing. Now, I think I made a mistake earlier when I hit uh, somebody on the engine. Stukas are destroyed with a single engine hit. I shouldn't have made him fall. Ah, I screwed that up. Oh well, I'm not gonna rewind it. Okay. <laughs> uh, so he makes his attack on the flank. Followed by green two. Flank, all he's gonna do is run out of ammo and that bomber is likely gonna get, get away. That stinks. Oh, 
Okay, back here we are on yellow three. On the tail, solo, jams, oof. Oof da, this is not going the way I was hoping. So. All right, we'll leave him there just for grins. Blue three, on the tail. Uh, this is Light Bomber's card. <laughs> Make sure I got the right card here. Damage, look, he'll run out of ammo. He'll take return fire. And then he does get a damage, don't let me forget that. And it's a hit. Eight on the rudder. Blech. Okay, but he does get a damage. And that is a wing for ten. Four, no. Oof. These guys are not going down the way I wanted. Okay, so leader, yellow leader here. On the tail. Oink. Two damage. That will be enough. He runs out of ammo, but goodbye. Oh, uh, yellow two has to draw a card. Even though there's no one there. Runs out of ammo. That leaves blue two. Two damage, that will be enough. He'll run out of ammo, but that will be enough to take it down. Blue two's nickname is Jam. Is it like jelly and jam, I don't know. Okay. And a blue leader will have to draw a card. Runs out of ammo. Okay. They all disengage. We have one guy with a hit. Rudder eight. Rolls a one, so blue three is going down. We do have to draw an escort reaction card. And take a peek. There's no ambush. That was really the only thing we were looking for. Because there's no escort. So nobody gets hit. We get to the control guy uh, complete patrol complete phase. And now Whoa, that means fuel, and well, red's out of the game anyway, but green is in bad trouble. And these guys go to low. Oh, we're gonna have some rolling here. Ooh, don't like it. Raid vector, right here, we get one of these, and new trade, which would, you know, just do that, which we're not, we're not hanging around for that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Because we're all returning to base. Now we are running on fumes. A lot of us are. Okay, so we return to base. We have green three. I got hit on the wing. We roll for him. He rolls a 10, which is going to allow him to just land. Very nice. Okay, we also have blue three on the rudder. Seven, which will... This is a Spitfire. Uh, we'll allow him to land as well. Okay, good. But we gotta check these guys here, see if anybody had to bail out. So we'll just start rolling. And we need a, it's a one on all four of these guys here. So we'll just, wait, yeah, let's see here, one. So, nope. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Okay, they all made it. Okay. Uh, uh, this is a little more tricky because it's one or two, so. Nope. Nope. No. All right. So now here's the big one. Two of them, uh, one through four. Nope. Ah, just missed it. So everybody, nobody had to bail out. That's great. Okay, so that is the end of the first patrol. And we came away with four victory points down, four bombers. Not so good considering that we blew catching them before they dropped their bombs, which would have been yeah, that, would, that would have been a 10 point patrol, which would have been just massive for a first patrol. But 
It is what it is. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. And tune in next time when we do Patrol 2. Until then, thanks for watching.